Hi, and welcome to Packing Cheap for the Sport Bike Traveler. Um, this is going to be kind of like Bilma's packing video, only <clears throat> on a budget. <clears throat> um, you may want to call this Walmart packing. I don't care. First thing I'd like to cover are these saddlebags. Um, I bought these for the Arizona trip, and I got them from Walmart Online. And they are excellent. And unlike your more expensive saddlebags, these are $80. Yes, boys and girls, $80. And if you do site to, so ugh, site to store, you will have free shipping too. So excellent value. I uh, can see there's a lot of room in here. It's flat, so you can really pack a lot in here. I actually packed like uh, two pairs of jeans and a couple of shirts and a whole outfit in here because I wanted to separate them from a tail bag in case they got wet. Um, these have the storm guards just like most bags. They also have a storage area here and something else I get to cover. Um, so there's room in here. You have the main compartment and then you have the side pockets. So a lot of room, great value. Just like your regular bags, they have all these, you know, uh, fasteners and whatnot. Um, they also have this top area that you can uh, secure stuff in. Um, <clears throat> so a great, great value. I mean, I really, really like these. Um, but I want to mainly give tips on stuff that he didn't cover in his packing video that might help you guys. Uh, and I'd like to dedicate this video to toast to go because uh, he asked me to do a video on what I took. And that's T-O-A-S-T-T-O-G-O, -T -T -O -O, Toast to Go. If you haven't seen him, he's a great vlogger, good friend of mine. Um, definitely check him out. Um, now we'll get to the tail bag. <laughs> and I can, I can hear Bilma chuckling already. Shut up, Bill. <laughs> this bag... <clears throat> <clears throat> this bag was given to me free when I opened a bank account. Uh, it's an Escalade bag, as Bill would say. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Uh, he's just laughing like a little girl over there. I know he is. <clears throat> but anyway, despite his naysaying, this worked really well. Um, what I did was, as you can see, it has quite a bit of room. I still have some plastic bags in here that I took with just in case uh, and like Bilma had said in his video I wrapped my electronics in these like uh, chargers and whatnot and um, I also use these bags I put them over the top of my clothes as a little extra barrier against water and although this bag never leaked or anything and I definitely got poured on so it's a good testament to the Escalade Bill haha -ha. or Billy so we know who I'm talking about uh, now what I did to secure this thing is I took the handles off of it, uh, little carrying handles, because it has a shoulder strap, so it really doesn't need them anyway. And what I did was I took a bungee strap and I hooked it to these, <laughs> which I can't do with one hand and I'm looking through the camera. Um, and then I hooked this other end, and as you can see this is a very short bungee um, I hooked this other end to the passenger foot peg. Uh, and that was very secure. I mean, when you think about the distance between these, it, it really was secure. And then I put some bungees around the middle. And then finally, I used the rear straps of these saddlebags and put them over the top of the tail bag. And what you do is you, you take one end like this, from this side, you go all the way over the tail bag onto the little clasp on the other side. And that secured all the bags together and made them really secure together. Um, and the front straps I hooked to the passenger side um, foot pegs. So these bags, none of them ever moved an inch. Ha! Billy. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, <clears throat> moving on. Um, I uh, also, at your fun Walmart, I went and got, to save space, this is deodorant, you see how small this is, uh, some body wash and some shampoo. Uh, we did stay in hotels the whole time, but it's good to take stuff like this, because you never know what cheap ass hotel isn't going to have soap or something, so it's good to have that stuff. A uh, little toothpaste, 
Uh, these are what I like to call happy fun sizes because they save a lot of room and they're the same. You know, this is still deodorant. Hi, I'm just like the real thing, only smaller. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. And this, this is the most awesome thing. See this thing? How small it is? It's a watcha toothbrush. Yeah. Little fun, uh, fun size, happy fun size, space saving toothbrush. Look at that. Folds up. Oh, oh awesome. Uh, this is my GPS. Um, there's no reason to take this out, I guess. But uh, not only is this good for the obvious thing, which is finding your way, but when you're ready to stop for the night and you're going for a hotel, you can punch hotels into this, just hotel. And it will come up with all the hotels in the area. And when you um, hit the button for each hotel, it gives you the number for that hotel. And you can actually sit there and call them and find out what the best rates are. And that saves you a lot of money and a lot of time from riding from hotel to hotel. So that's a little travel tip there that will hopefully help you guys. Um, okay, here's a, another little item that you're going to want if you're going to take a trip. It's uh, called a cramp buster and basically how this works is you uh, show the whole grip here you can have your hand I have this one moved to the far end because when I had it closer it was getting in my way um, and it still works though as you can see it still turns the uh, throttle fine um, you can move this like this way without any problem but it locks when you try to go this way and that's how it pulls the throttle and what this does is I like it on this end because then I can ride with my hand on the grip and you'll see it really doesn't affect my hand at all you know, when I'm normally riding uh, but on a long trip you can then uh, get a brush out of this, uh, rest your wrist on it and then let your hand open and it will push the throttle and you can then not get your hands so sore. Um, it also, I've noticed on a long trip, you can pull your hand back or like this or even like this and just it gives your hand a lot more movement on a long trip so that it doesn't get as tired. So this is a good, good item. This cost me 10 bucks so it's pretty cheap. Uh, and it will really save you a lot of pain and a, a lot of, you know, fatigue. Um, so this is definitely a great thing to have on a trip. Um, I call this the suck pack because, uh, <laughs> number one, it sucks, and number two, you got to suck the water out. So um, it's, in theory, a great idea because you have water on you, and if you're in a hot place, it's great to cool off. However, my thought is this. Number one, this blocks the rear vent on my jacket, which is not good. Number two, uh, there is nothing greater than when you're on a, a long trip on a motorcycle than getting off that bike at a gas station and drinking a bottle of water and chilling out for a little while. Um, in fact, speaking along that same line, don't wait for your gas to run out. You know, for your gas light to come on. Don't do that. I'm telling you, this is, a, this is an important safety tip, boys and girls. Um, well, maybe not safety, but it'll make your ride a lot more fun. I usually was stopping 90 to 100 miles on the way to Arizona, okay? And that gave me plenty of gas left in case I had trouble finding a gas station or, you know, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you find a gas station that has crappy gas or it's just a gas station that you're like, ugh, I so do not want to stop here. And also about the gas. Um, if you stop before you're running out, you know, in case you get lost, you have extra gas too. <coughs> Van fly. <coughs> anyway, um, you know, so, you know, if you were to be one of those people that gets lost, <coughs> Van fly. <coughs> while you're riding around, you know. spray um, you're thinking well what the hell would you need that for uh, great thing to have because when you're on a motorcycle trip you are <laughs> gonna be wearing clothes more than one day and a little shot of this will help you be more popular with your friends okay let's just put it that way 